video is part of my slow motion series for very visual learners. In it, I'm going to demonstrate the magic knot, which is a way of joining a new ball of yarn. It does leave a little knot, but it's a really tight, secure way of attaching a new ball of yarn, whether you're attaching the same color or a different color. Now, I don't recommend this for um, joining a new ball of yarn like on a sweater front or something because the little knot can pop through the work and show but it's excellent if you're like knitting a baby blanket or something and you want a secure knot that is machine washable and dryable and something secure that the you know the parents if you're gifting this baby blanket they're not going to have to worry about anything coming unraveled it just keeps everything together really securely uh, I think that's all oh I will say this is not your only option for joining a new ball of yarn if you're a new knitter. If you click the little eye in the upper right hand corner, I'll give you a link to a video of mine that shows you three options, for, three different options for joining a new ball of yarn. I'll also put that link in the video description field below. But for now, it's magic knot and let's go slow mo. In this example, I have the two ends of yarn that I want to tie together with the magic knot. We'll pretend the pink one is the one attached to my work and the blue one is the new ball of yarn. And it helps to set it out like this. You'll see the new ball of yarn crosses over the old ball of yarn in two places. The first thing I want to do is tie the end of the blue yarn to the pink yarn or around the pink yarn. Give that a good tug to make it a tight knot. And now we'll tie the pink yarn, the end of the pink yarn, around the blue yarn. In a single knot, both times. Again, give it a good tug. And this is the magic part of the magic knot. You pull on the two ends until the two knots you've tied meet and then give this one a good tug you can see it's really secure we don't want to leave it like this you can give it a trim and you can cut it really close to the knot Usually what I do is I cut it really close. You just don't want to cut into the knot, of course. Cut it really close and then I take a look to see if there's any more that I want to trim. And there's always more that I want to trim. There it is. And that's it, the magic knot. Hope that helps. Good luck.